Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. For those of you that are new, my name is Rashawn Carter. And um, on this channel, I like to discuss a variety of different topics, whether it's music, whether it's life, and anything in between. And for today's video, I'm going to be discussing why you should always shoot your shot. Now, shooting your shot could be one of the most nerve-wracking things known to men. Um, you could, you could want to do it so bad, and yet your mind is giving you all the reasons why you shouldn't. But have you ever stepped back to listen to the reasons why you should? You know, there, there's a multitude of reasons why you should always shoot your shot. You know, you just never know. Um, you may look at someone, you may look like a, you may see a beautiful girl or, you know, a handsome man. And um, you automatically write yourself off. You automatically think that, oh, yeah, he or she is, is out of my league. And um, in all actuality, you know, there's no such thing as, as leagues, so to speak. You know, they could have everything going on outside of themselves, you know perfect but in the inside you know they may lack personality they may lack you know intelligence they may lack you know manners and uh the list goes on so uh there's no such thing as out of your league you know you might as well just get that out of your head because uh it's no such thing everyone's on a level playing field you know i feel like that whole dating someone just for their looks is kind of outdated and played out really at least for me and uh, a lot of people out there you know they, they kind of like to see how they are as a person first and then if they have the looks as well that's just a cherry on top you know uh looks you know they, they just get you through the door but it's everything else about you that keeps you in the room and um you know that's what people fail to realize and um you may look at yourself and think you know i'm not the most attractive person so to say or so to speak but what about what you have for going for yourself you know besides just looks because first of all you know no one's ugly and uh you should never you know look at yourself in that light and uh second of all you know it's more to a person than just their looks you know if you if you have you know a 10 out of 10 personality you're funny you're smart you have a kind heart and then you know that should outweigh you know the, the way you feel like you look you know because like i said that, that's really irrelevant nowadays people are more so attracted to the vibes attracted to how someone makes them feel not just looking at someone you know and i'm not i'm not here to say that attraction doesn't matter you know, you, you have to be somewhat physically attracted to the person that, that you want to go after or you want to be with. You know, attraction is is important, but it's not everything. And a lot of people have that twisted. A lot of people are so caught up with thinking that you have to be a 10 out of 10. You have to look like a, a supermodel, an Instagram model in order to find love. And uh, that's not true. You know, all you got to do is just carry yourself a certain way, um, work, continue to work on yourself. And um, you'll have someone that, that will be attracted to you, someone that will love you for you. You know, someone that would just want to just want to be around you, you know, all day just because of the way you make them feel, not because the way you look. And I'm sure, you know, a lot of us, myself included, you know, rejection is, is very scary. You know, rejection is real. Um, but the more you get rejected, the more older you get, the more that you have experience with rejection, you realize that it's actually very beneficial because you're kind of like building a, a foundation brick by brick you know every time you get rejected you know you're starting to get more confidence because um you know at least you you took the steps in in attempting and trying and, and seeing because um as i alluded to him in, in a past video i was saying that i'd rather try and fail than to not try at all because uh you know what, what would really suck besides rejection is not even trying not even getting rejected but the person that you like may actually like you back but if you never make the move, you never make that leap of faith, you never shoot your shot, you never know. And um, it's like that Steve Lacey song, you know, Bad Habits, you know, I wish I knew you wanted me. And, um, you know, that, that's a real life scenario. You know, you, I can't even imagine how many people, how many what if um, relationships, you know, soulmates, marriage, that just never happened because one of the two or maybe even both were scared to, you know, shoot, shoot their shot with each other. And uh, that's why I just feel like Whenever someone that you like, that you can see yourself being with, and you actually know them, you know, shoot your shot. You know, the worst they can say is no. Even nowadays, even though nowadays, you know, they like to put a camera in your in your face and and uh, belittle you and all that. But that happens, you know, not so often than not. I feel like that's just more so just stuff they see on social media. You know, it happens in real life, day to day. You know, the, the worst they will say is no. And um, the whole thing that you see on social media is just an overreaction. For clout for views for likes you know the list goes on but you do have to be you know strategic with how and where you shoot your shot for example if you have a crush on a co-worker um with that you should probably be a little bit more cautious and uh make sure that the energy is reciprocated because that could easily be looked at as like you know harassment or um 
um, like an offense, you know, depending on your, your company guidelines and even just the person, you know, they may feel, you know, weirded out or creeped out. So I would say just be, be, become their friend first, get to know them. And then if you feel like the energy is, is mutual, then shoot your shot. But say, you know, you're out, you know, on the town, you're, you're at a club, you're at a, a place that you, you're not at always that you won't see this person every day. At that point, you could have more of a cold approach, you know, be more bold about it, you know, because you're not going to you're not guaranteed to see the person, you know, every day or even ever again. So um, at that point, you know, you know, you might just want to shoot your shot. I feel like it'll be worth it. You know, if it's someone that you and, and don't just do it shallowly, you know, don't just be like, hey, you're, you're, you're hella thick or oh, you're, you're just so beautiful. I just wanted to get your number like sure you know like i said attraction does play a part but compliment them you know maybe about their appearance like their their clothes their shoes and then um try to you know talk them up a little bit before you just flat out ask them out um you know try to break the ice get to know them a little bit and then be like you know i like the conversation Let, let's continue this sometime um how about i grab your number and then boom uh just like that i mean i'm not saying it's that simple you know they can still say no but um at least you're giving yourself a little bit of better of a chance than just, you know, falling flat on your face and just asking them out, you know, the first second you guys lock eyes. And I'm telling you, you know, I'm speaking from experience. The more that you go out and uh, shoot your shot with people that you like and get rejected, the more comfortable you will be with dealing with rejection. You know, you're just, you, you kind of get desensitized and numb to it. Meaning that um, as long as you know, you know, how, how you, if, if you're sure of yourself, you know what you bring to the table. Um, you don't need other people to validate you. You don't need other people to um, to like you. You know, just think about it as, as their loss. You know, if they don't want anything to do with you, you know, if they politely decline, if they rudely decline, you know, it's, it's their loss. You just got to look at it like that. Because I'm sure, you know, there's someone out there that would, that would love to be with you. And, um, you know, you just got to start believing that. You know, like I said, there's no such thing as being out of someone's league. You know, God all equipped us with the same, you know, amount of tools, with the same, you know, advantage you know i mean some maybe a little disadvantage but like i said what you lack you make up with something else and uh if you feel like you don't look the best you know that's that's just one part of it that's just one side of the coin you know there, there's a lot more that you still have to check off you know the list in order to uh, find love you know looks it, it just it's just what you're looking from from an external standpoint you know it's it's the most shallow way to look at someone like I said, you know, if they have the looks on top of, you know, just being a great person, then, you know, you find yourself a keeper. And outside of relationships, you know, just shoot your shot with, with life. You know, there's a, there's a position that you want to go after. Um, you're not sure if you have the qualifications. Uh, you feel like maybe they won't consider you. You know, at least put your name in the hat. You know, attempt it. Try it. You know, you never know. You know, they, they might be looking at someone like you to um, move up within the company. Um, even if it's just... A job that you you've been eyeing for a while that you have no prior experience with you know just shoot your shot you know you never know you might have a career that's just waiting for you but you're just too scared to go after it um if there's like something you want to do you know if you want to you know become like a musician you want to become like an actor um and like you're you're kind of on the brink or you're kind of like on the fence about it you know try it so at least that way you know your 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 mind is at ease if you fail because uh you tried it if you don't you know you're just gonna it's just gonna weigh heavy on your mind and your conscience and you're just gonna feel real guilty about not attempting it and um like i said until you shoot your shot you just don't know you know it's a it's a yes or no it's as simple as that so um if the odds are 50 50 there's a 50 percent chance that it goes in your favor so um i like those odds you know at least try and um you, you'll be surprised you know, if it doesn't go that way, you know, that just means God has something better in store for you. You know, what what you want at the time um, may not even amount to what God has in store for you. You know, you may you may be praying and, and, and begging and, and wishing for something that you want so bad, you know, that the idealistic um, thing of you, you know, the most the, the thing that you want to happen the most. Um, God has something much, much better. And uh, you, you may not feel like that right now. But um, it all makes sense one day, you know, and um, you just got to let go and let God, you know, he has he has all the answers. He already has, you know, it's written in the stars. If it's for you, if it's meant for you, it'll be for you. And um, there's no need to go forcing. There's no need to go chasing. There's no need to go, um, you know, trying to just 
squeeze that into your your uh, your script you know god already has what's meant for you out there and uh you just gotta wait patiently sit back it may be a while it may be tomorrow but god has something for you but yeah guys uh shoot your shot like i said you just never know you know it's, life is too short you know um you may you may have someone out there for you just just right in front of your face that you don't even know because you're just too scared to go after it. You may have a job right there for you, just waiting for you, but you're just too scared to go for it. You just gotta go after it, man. You know, it's it'll it'll be so worth it. Like I say, even if it doesn't end up happening your way, you know, at least you just have clarity and um, you just know for sure. You know what I mean? Because uh, you not trying it because you're scared of rejection is just you rejecting yourself because you're not even giving your sense a, a, you're not even giving yourself a chance. So um, yeah, I hope you guys. Do what you will with these words and um just go after it man you know life's too short but uh you guys have a great day and um see you guys next time like comment subscribe and share and uh be blessed peace